Hi there, Green Thumb Gardener here today, and here we're looking at a very underutilized fruit in uh, this region of the world, which is the mulberry tree. And uh, here, we're just uh, starting to turn ripe. We got a nice uh, ripe one here. The, usually they turn black when they're fully ripe, and uh, they're really good. They're nice and sweet. Oh man, that's good. It's uh, almost like a like a blackberry almost. It's uh, it's very good, nice and sweet, but uh, it doesn't have that tartness because this one's uh, super ripe. Oh man, this is delicious. Mulberries, yeah. So uh, yeah, they're all up in this tree here, and uh, it's a good time for them. It's uh, definitely an underutilized fruit, so uh, go ahead and get a nice mulberry tree. The other type of mulberry, the flowering one, is the one that they use the silkworms for to make silk. So here we have the Jabota Kaba, and you can see that it's fruiting right on the stem here. And uh, it tastes quite delicious. Uh, it has uh, purple skin, and then it has a, a fleshy inner. It's kind of like a grape almost. And uh, yeah, I would compare it to a grape, and uh, I would say that it's probably high in uh, antioxidants because of the dark purple color for anthocyanins and things like that. Here we got my favorite guava in bloom here. This is a pineapple guava and it does very good in this area here. And, uh, you can eat the petals just, just like this and um, it'll still fruit even after you eat the petals. You just don't eat the stamen which is uh, the red part with the yellow on the end. And uh, the flowers taste really good. They're good in salads, they're pretty nice and sweet. Here we have a loquat tree, and this is a great tree to plant if uh, you're gonna be in a place that it doesn't get a lot of water uh, because they do very well in a drought. So uh, go ahead and pick yourself up a loquat tree if uh, you like the fruit. It's, uh, it's a little tart and it's sweet. There's a, a few big seeds inside, um, but the fruit is, is pretty tasty. Uh, they can become pretty big trees, so it's good to uh, prune them to keep them to size. Yeah, here we have the fruit of the natal plum, and um, these, these are pretty tasty too. I was thinking about planting one of these ones uh, kind of by my window because it has a little bit of thorns and stuff, and just to tour some people, and uh, and I could eat the fruit too. And um, the flowers uh, smell very good too. Uh, I saw a couple of them over here. Um, oh, yep, here they are. They uh, look like jasmine flowers almost. And uh, yeah, they smell divine. And uh, and the fruit is pretty good. Uh, here, here's a ripe one right here. Uh, this one's almost overripe. But uh, yeah, this is a natal plum. Uh, very, these are these are good. Um, it's pretty juicy here. So this is uh, my, my first natal plum, but um, wow, that's nice, nice and sweet. There, there is a little bit of a latex in here, I could see. So uh, you know, you want to be cautious about. Uh, you want to just almost just pop the whole thing in your mouth, so then you don't get a latex on your lips that uh, could cause you to break out. Hmm. Yeah, a little bit sour, not too sour though, yeah, mostly sweet. So here we're looking at the jujube, and uh, this is the reason why I came out here, because I wanted to uh, smell these flowers. Uh, this is uh, what they uh, intended when they made juicy, juicy fruit gum. This is the plant that, uh, they, that inspired them to make the gum with that flavor. So I, I came out to smell the flowers, but uh, it's, it's still a little early. So it's not flowering yet, but uh, yeah, this is the jujube. There's a few different kinds of jujubes, and uh, they're underutilized fruit trees too. And uh, this one is uh, the Lee jujube, I believe. All right, I hope you had fun today as much as I did, and uh, go out and enjoy your week, uh, National Park Week. Okay, happy gardening.